has Emmy award-winning vocal competition. That show gets re ready to return for season number 12. Such a great show. We are happy to have Gwen <laughs> Stefani, a music superstar and successful fashion designer, returning as a coach. We're going to talk to Gwen in a moment, but first, a quick sneak peek at season 12. I'm 13. Wow. 13? I've never had someone 13. So I was listening, and this is overwhelming being back. Like, I'm so grateful to be here right now. And, and I'm happy, like, I'm ecstatic that you're here. This I'm is so, so crazy. I'm so grateful. You taught me how to spell bananas. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Listen to me. You can be on Team Gwen, and I can teach you how to spell everything. <laughs> well, you use all the tricks in the book, can won't you? Imagine? Gwen, good morning. Good morning. Can we do some rounds about you yeah. should be there? No, come no, on. Seriously, no, it's your show. Wait a Go ahead. No, not at all. <laughs> all right. I'm glad you showed that clip, though. I didn't tell you this. This is the first time we lowered the audition age to 13. So you saw that young man. They're such great young it's talent. And Gwen. Gwen has a son, Kingston, who's like 10, yeah. and, and, and watching you with this younger group, what was that like? It's just, well, it's, it's surreal because they're so talented. It's hard to remember that they're that age, you know, and the pressure that they're under and the ease that they take it with. It's like, I had some, well, I'm not even gonna say because I can't say who's on my team yet, but it's unbelievable, the talent and at such a young age and just that they're so calm. That's what blows me away. You, you, know you said to when you, you, you feel like this time around you have more to offer your team. What do you mean by that? Well, I think I had an extraordinary year last year. I got to make a record, you know, and do new music and then go back on tour after like seven years I hadn't toured. So that whole kind of exchange of love that I had and that whole experience to bring that now because it's like it's fresh, you know. The first season I literally had just given birth, which is a whole different vibe, right? And then right. then second season I was in like this crazy, crazy like transitional place. And then this time I did music. So to be around all that music and have that that new music come out, it was just it's a different place, you know. And three seasons you get comfortable, yeah. you know, and also the chemistry between um, the coaches. I mean, Alicia Keys is just so magical, and Adam and I, we know each other now for a while, and of course, Blake, who I think is the greatest guy ever. Like, it's just so fun. Like, it's so easy and comfortable. And Man, she really teed it up for Well, it's there. our first season. <laughs> is Well, it's obviously well documented, you and Blake, and I was curious when we were shooting the blind auditions and more recently the knockouts, what that chemistry would be like. Would it be something that you guys would shy away from? I was nervous at first. I was like, wait, this would be awkward. Is this, how am I going to act? You know what I mean? But it's, it's just natural. How did you natural. feel it played out? It's just natural, you know what I mean? It's just, and I feel like sometimes it is a little bit like, okay, we're driving home, I'm like, well, do you think I should put them together? And then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not gonna talk to you about this. Right, you're you're the actually, enemy. I don't, know, I don't know if you are the enemy or you, I'm, it's confusing. There you know? was natural jokes that were built in, like if there was a steal and, a, and an artist went from Team Gwen to Team Blake, there'd be that natural joke of like, well, you didn't really leave teams, you know, because you went from one to the other. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And I think that we actually do help each other, you know what I mean? Like, and I've learned a lot about about co like country music through yeah. just in the last year through him and so it's it is interesting. What did that cowboy do for you for Valentine's Day? What what did he do for yeah. me? Yeah, what did he I get said, you? What did you do? I said cowboy doof. I was like, God, yeah. Carson. <laughs> Little nicknames they have I was like, wow, I haven't heard that one. Um, he, we weren't together. I was here and he's no Did he call you? Did he remember yesterday he was forgot. Valentine's Day? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 he, um, I got some beautiful flowers and lots of texts and it was, it was fun. Nice. I mean, you know. I'm in New York and he's in Oklahoma. How about you can't okay. distance separates. You said uh, another interview. I'm reading a lot of interviews about you. You are? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you said that you woke up in 2000 or you were woken up, I think, the way you put it. And, and you referred to that a second ago. What an amazing year you've had. I how did. Do you, I, how do you even try to top that? I'm not going to try. I think that I'm going to continue to just be on that kind of. I, I, I feel like I woke up spiritually, you know what I mean? Like, so when you do that, you, everything is in color and you're sort of seeing things with new eyes and you just sort of, um, you just see everything through gratitude, you know what I mean? So you just check everything all the time. I don't know, and that's kind of what I've been doing and it saved me, you know what I mean? So that's what I mean by that. I'm just, I'm just awake like it's all the crazy. time, like going, wow. Like even right now, like I think about this guy and like TRL and like, how am I sitting here right so now? Like both we us. both are just tripping out because it's like we're in well, LA. Tragic we're Kingdom, here. Your, your album came out in, in 96 and I was a DJ. I was the guy at K-Rock in LA, our hometown station where fun, playing her band's music. And now we're on The Voice together. And, and, I and love we all, have all these babies. We and have, we have 10 kids just... between the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but
But it's so fun to watch you on The Voice because you're so, you have so much like optimism to offer because last year was such a crazy year for you, mm -hmm. but you came out on the other side and you know, people, if you make a choice when life is tough and you just chose the brighter path. It's I inspiring. I feel like it and music is just so healing and to be able to tap into that for me, like to be able to have that outlet was just a lifesaver. And then like I said, to be able to share it and and just share that experience. It, music is just universal and it's just it's such a gift Plus you're have. dating Blake Shelton was just so weird for me. I can't I'm so lucky. What do you see in that guy? Oh, what are you crazy. talking about? <laughs> God, <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Greatest guy He's ever, a good dude. He's a good ever. dude. You, you love him. I love him. You love I love him. you more. He though. loves you. <laughs> Gwen Stefani, thanks. We're going to have more with her in our next hour. And you can catch the season premiere of The Voice. Why not check it out? It's right here on NBC. It starts Monday, February 27th. Come